Well, aloha. Welcome to my backyard. My name is Master Paul and I am out at the ocean here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm pretty close to one of the resorts here and I found a beautiful grassed area. The wind kind of comes through occasionally so it might be a little bit loud sometimes. So I apologize for that. We just went live so that will be a few minutes before people start joining. Uh, it's one of those things about Facebook Live. You don't really know that it's live until it comes on and then all of a sudden you can join it. So it's quite a unique um, avenue, way to serve. I'm going to have to keep my sunglasses on a lot of the time because it's so bright here otherwise my eyes are squinted. So I want to apologize about that, having to keep my sunglasses on. I'm going to ask all those that come on the line to please um, let me know, first of all, if you can hear me clearly, uh, because I don't have my laptop computer open here. I can't quite tell. I have my wife on the other side of the camera here. She's monitoring things. She's letting me know if she's able to see it right now. She hasn't even found me live stream yet. So, Dove, I see you've joined. Let me know if you can hear me okay how much the filtering is with the wind. Uh, I need to speak up more or try to position the mic differently. <clears throat> Aloha and welcome Monica. Very happy to see you. Thanks Dove. I've got my sunglasses on. Dove says the sound is great. I appreciate that response Dove. Um, yeah it's a little bit bright out here for my uh, my blue eyes. You know I I'm told that I have a Scandinavian heritage and unfortunately um, that means I have to, to have protection in this brightness or my eyes will just be closed the whole time either way. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been doing a lot of posting. Uh, hopefully we'll have a great show today. I checked in with the Divine as to what would be the subject of today's show and it is gratitude. And so um, I will constantly come back around to that as part of the subject matter. So I want to thank uh, uh, those that have come on the line so far, Dove and Monica, for your posting and your sharing of my posts. I truly appreciate that. So let us go ahead and connect first and then we'll, we'll do a soul calling to get as many folks here as possible so that we can serve their soul. So placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Dear our beloved spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, they are all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all the way up to Master Shah's original soul standing. Dear my Tian my Tian, Temple Soul, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, bow down to you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. Thank you for the opportunity to serve humanity in such an important and powerful way. Thank you for the opportunity to live in such an amazing, amazing place as I do now. And thank you for the opportunity to serve as many souls here as possible. I thank you, Facebook, the soul of Facebook, and this wonderful opportunity to do live stream so that I can serve you live. For all those that will be watching this in hindsight, watching the recording, please continue to come to my live events. You'll, if you're live, you can ask questions and I would do soul readings for your concern. Um, Monica was the, on the other day and I think we did, did we do a soul reading for you Monica? I'm not sure if we did or not. Have to remind me and if we didn't you're welcome to ask a question. So let me continue. Dear the soul of the beautiful Pacific Ocean behind me. Dear the soul of the countless fish, dolphins, whales, the coral, all the plankton of this ocean. I love you, honor you, appreciate you so very much. We invite you to be present to this most healing event. I will offer blessings and chanting today to serve you and your soul journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the soul of the sea dragon in charge of this area of the Pacific Ocean around Hawaii. We're very grateful. We invite you to please come at this time to bring your dolphins, bring your fish, your animals, your whales. Allow us to serve them. 
We're very grateful for your presence. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you. We invite you to turn on in all souls and all universes, and we invite all souls to join us. The soul of the love, peace, harmony, Jindan, transmitted to the soul of Mother Earth. Please turn on and join us. Bless us to offer blessings to our beloved Mother Earth, to all the fish, to the dolphins, to the whales, and to the coral. And after we offer this blessing, because we're going to do some chanting now of love, peace, and harmony, I will do a soul reading as to the value of this, because it's not just us on the line right now. It's all the souls that we have called in that are joining us that are, um, that are chanting for this service, for the oceans, for the whales, for everything. Let us chant love, peace, and harmony to serve the oceans, to serve the fish, to serve the plankton, to serve the coral. Ula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula li lula, wo ai wo xin er li, wo ai chen ren li, wang li ying rong er mu xie xiang, xiang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha maia. Eloha kako apau. E pili mai puai kakau aloha mali lo kahi aloha mali lo kahi. And for those that have joined us, Katie, we're chanting for the oceans. Continue to chant. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> how, how, how? 
I'm going to continue to chant. I'm going to ask you, those on the line, to reach down to your share button and share it on your timeline so that those friends that happen to come on right now can, maybe can go. You can tell them that it's live right now and maybe we'll get a few more people. Uh, so please be willing to do that. And I'm going to come to your flows in just a minute. We're going to continue to chant. I'll do a flow first for the value of this chanting for our ocean and our fish, plankton, uh, dolphins, etc. And then we will do individual flows. So let us continue. Ula la li la 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 li la la li la la li la la li la and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you to the source soul song love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We invite all souls to continue to chant this most important source soul song to serve unconditionally 24-7. The more you serve, the greater your soul standing, the greater the ability to bring everyone back to oneness. So thank you, Adrian, my brother, my friend, for joining us. Thank you, my wife, for joining us. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, Yanin. Thank you, Gloria. You are my hero today. You're sharing this everywhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank all of you. You and Dove, Gloria, are just doing all kinds of sharing on my behalf. And I'm doing this on behalf of my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, to make sure humanity knows how we can serve them. So we are here in beautiful Oahu, Honolulu. We just chanted Love, Peace, and Harmony. I saw three requests for soul readings. First, I'm going to do a reading for the value of this chanting. Remember, it wasn't just us. This was all souls in all universes were invited. Divine Tao Source were invited. Master Shah was invited. Countless saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures were invited. So there will be tremendous, tremendous blessings. So let's find out what benefits we have achieved with this chanting. <clears throat> a soul reading for those that are new to this, that are tuning in for the very first time and watching this on a recording, is connecting to heaven and asking the soul world to offer guidance, wisdom, insights, uh, or um, the record of what has happened past, present, future. In this case, we just chanted, so there's a record of the value of what just happened. I'm going to do a soul reading for that. So let's find out. And everything has a soul, so the soul that's going to come forward to speak is actually the soul of the ocean surrounding the Hawaiian Islands, as that's where we're at. Sasa, can you guys hear me okay? Okay. <clears throat> this is the soul of the Pacific Ocean, the entire Pacific Ocean. Your service for my body is of the highest and greatest service that I can possibly hope for. My blood, my veins, my beingness has been disrupted, disharmonized, and brought to the point of toxicity because of the carelessness of the human. I love all souls unconditionally, 
but it has been quite taxing to maintain this unconditionalness in the face of the carelessness. This soul song of love, peace, and harmony carries my Creator's frequency. It carries the original Jing, Qi, and Shen that I was created from. And it is like salve soothing my wounds. Literally, I witnessed my coloration. The rainbow lights came and permeated my body. And those lights started to realign my Shen, Qi, and Jing to my beloved Creator. It started to purify the toxicity that I have been subjected to. All of my plants, coral life, all of the fish, all of my beloved dolphins and whales, and all of my beloved creatures have experienced a blessing with this. I can only hope and pray that all souls continue to chant on my behalf because we all, me and all those in my body, chant for all you, humanity, Mother Earth, and all souls equally. I am honored to share the value of this chanting on behalf of my beloved body. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is an example of a divine flow. Wow, so beautiful. She's such a beautiful soul. She's a female soul. Such a beautiful soul. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. So please share any of your um, feelings about that flow. Uh, again, this is not for, for me. This is for all those that ever tune in in the future. Sometimes your, your response, your connection to it, how it made you feel, if you have third eye, what your third eye saw, please share any of those images, any of those things. Um, those are all beneficial for the, the next person that watches. Okay, so I, I apologize about having the sunglasses on because um, it's a bit bright out of here, otherwise I'm squinting the whole time. So I'm reading now the questions that were asked so I can do a flow on them. Uh, Monica asked, perhaps a uh, flow on my business soul's feeling. Oh, I like that. Okay. So let's find out, Monica. <clears throat> uh, please state your business name for heaven. I will tune in on that. Think of your new business and what it is that you're doing. Think of all the new souls you're trying to connect to. To the soul of Monica and her husband and their new business, the soul of their business, the soul of this business's intentions, the highest purpose for this business, the soul of what this business is feeling and wanting to accomplish in this life experience. Could you please come forth, borrow my mouth, share your intentions for our beloved Monica? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those, again, that are new, I do a little bit of chanting to clear the channels. The ocean came right in, no problem. But when I connect to souls like this, um, I usually need to chant for a moment or two to, to clear the channels, and then it flows out. I am the soul of beloved Monica and her husband's business. I am elated to be present, to share. To have a voice is something that is of my greatest joy. Can't possibly explain how joyful I am right now. My dear Monica, if I were to say anything to you, it would be to trust that you and I are exactly on the same page. I am talking to you always. I am doing your biddings. You are doing my biddings. I tell you to trust your heart and your soul. If you are serving the way I know I want to serve, we will both be very, very successful. I want you to understand that success is not always abundance of finances. Many times our service will open the hearts and souls of those we are reaching out to. When we change their soul journey by our activities, we have changed their life forever. We very potentially could save their life. When you receive your calligraphy certification, I want you to sign your calligraphy name and come up with a calligraphy insignia to put on everything that you paint. 
it is very important because you will have the ability to put power into what you do. And with that power will come huge blessings and purification, cleansing, healing, and realignment to those souls that receive our work. It is of the greatest importance that you follow through with this. You have the great capacity and ability to serve many with our talent. And I look so forward to serving you and our soul journey with this great talent. Thank you for bringing me into manifestation. I am honored to serve. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, you have a very happy business soul. Congratulations on that. Okay, I'm scrolling down to see what Dove has to ask. For those who have just joined us, uh, you're welcome to ask a, a guidance question, a soul guidance question. We'll do the best we can. Um, let's see. Dove, my question is about the relationship with my youngest son and how I can improve it. Okay. So, uh, state your, the name of your youngest son for heaven. Think about the um, complications you're having and let me offer guidance from heaven to the soul of Dove Sobron, the soul of her son, the soul of her relationship with her son. In this and all lifetimes, dear soul of Dove's Heaven's Teams and her son's Heaven's Teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you as appropriate. I am honored for your presence. I ask to collectively choose a spokesperson and on behalf uh, offer Dove guidance and information for Dove to hear at this time. Thank you. This is the soul of your son. My beloved mother, I bow to your feet every day for your patience and your tolerance with the personality that my current physical embodiment is sharing with you. I constantly remind him that he is a beautiful soul of the divine and that you are his physical and spiritual mother, that he must offer you more respect, that he must listen to your guidance as you have his best interest in mind. I know who you are. I know what you stand for. I know our soul journey. One of the reasons why he has such difficulty is he is carrying some darkness on him, having to do with past lives serving the side opposite of the light. This has great resistance with you because you have done much to clear yourself. It would be of value to look into blessing us in this journey. I believe you have already made requests for the relationship between us and that has actually not been able to take effect because of this uh, vow that had been made. I wish that in that lifetime that vow had not been made but that is why I align my soul to yours in this lifetime that I would have the opportunity to clear these debts. I love you dearly. I continue to ask for your patience and guidance with me. Uh, please take the photo of my physical presence. Place it in Master Shah's Da'ai calligraphy. Chant with it every day and when not around, ask the saints, the treasure souls and the animals to bless and clear that. Also, duplicate this photo and place it in front of the Da Quan Chu calligraphy asking for forgiveness for our choice in that lifetime to help clear those blockages. Call forth the soul of me, your son, and do forgiveness practice with us to all those souls that we have harmed by this unpleasant choice. 
The combination of this should take the edge off and allow our communication to be much better in the physical realm. But in the long haul, you should look at having this vow removed. I love you dearly. I am honored and grateful to share my love with you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the Heavens teams, all those that have come for this whole conference. Gong song, gong song. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please share, Dub, how that felt for you if, if you had any third eye images. Uh, Katie as well, if you had any images, please share uh, for any of these flows. We always appreciate that. And again, those reading at a later time will truly, uh, they're not familiar with third eye uh, imagery, so that could be very valuable for them. So I'm scrolling down to see if any other questions popped up. Um, Gloria, my question is about my passion and the mission of Master Shah. What is my passion and the mission of Master Shah? Okay, we'll just ask Master Shah <laughs> on this one. <laughs> so let's, let's connect. Dear beloved soul of Master Shah, love you, honor you, bow down to you. It is my greatest honor to be your worldwide representative. I humbly and sincerely ask you to please come sit in my Ming Min acupuncture point to offer a flow, borrow my mouth for our beloved Gloria, offering her whatever guidance is most needed, necessary, and appropriate to answer her specific question at this time. I am deeply honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My dear Gloria, thank you for your heart of service, for my mission. My mission is God's mission. God's mission is my mission. There is no difference. We are all one. Your question is, how can I find my passion in following Master Shah? What can I do to align to my passion? My beloved, one. Your heart to serve is the key. Your lack of willingness to go out and speak the way you speak in all other mediums is what is hurting. Your passion comes through the moment you lift up the phone and share. Your passion comes through the moment you share on the social media sites. And the few times you share in public, your passion comes through. Do you not notice how empowered you are, how you change the frequency in the room when you share? Do you not notice the strength that you have, the ability to wake up the next day with tremendous energy after you share in public? You must go to the libraries, to the venues that are willing and open to chant to serve humanity. Do not make it something that is too mental. This is a dilemma for you. You have a very sharp mind. You have the need and necessity to explain things with great enunciation and great clarity. There is a time and place for that, but you must first have students. In order to have students, you must first awaken and open their heart. In order to awaken and open their heart, you must go out and serve with the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Use your intellect to discern the places and how to do that. Then when you se select those places, those community centers, etc., <clears throat> choose simply chanting to serve humanity, singing for peace and love, singing to heal and balance your depression. Whatever it is you choose, follow your soul guidance. Then go and the right people will come when you do the soul conferencing. Start with one or two people. When you serve a specific modality, such as chanting and singing to heal depression, you will have souls that will come. You specifically sing love, peace, and harmony. You teach them how to turn it on in their own lives. You give them the music. I promise you, they will return and they will bring their friends with them. As a matter of fact, their family members will come because they will see such a great difference. This is how you can serve your community with passion and then those that are ready for your intellectual uh, abilities will then receive higher level teachings and that is also when you can open up your healing service with much greater ability. 
I am so honored to offer this wisdom to you. You are one of my most important service, uh, servants in your area. Please go out and do the calling that God has asked you to do. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you, Master Shah, for the opportunity to share that, uh, that beautiful wisdom <coughs> at this time. Okay, so I will continue to read on through, Gloria. I uh, love you, Master Paul. And this is response to my thanking her for sharing. Thank you again so much. Monica, I just felt so happy to serve in such a way together. Thank you for the opportunity, Dove. Amazingly powerful. I was driving on a very crowded freeway and just felt very peaceful with a great heart opening. Monica says, oh my God. <laughs> um, Gloria, hi, Paul. I'm trying to type your flows. Could you please slow down about 50%? little late but i will do my best thank you uh thank you for that idea i appreciate that one of the things i wanted to ask you gloria is if we could get together i'd like to have these videos typed out uh, i would honor for it but then i can use it for blogs um monica my heart and soul were so warm and so happy to hear my soul speaking wow wow that was such a deep, beautiful experience. My deepest gratitude, Master Paul, for your generous readings and heart. That actually was the soul of your business. So um, when you go back and watch the video, Monica, you'll hear the soul of your business. Very, very, very happy soul. Um, so wonderful. Congratulations for you on that. Uh, I'm going to play that message a few times. There you go. <laughs> it's all recorded, yes. Uh, Crystal Valencia, yay! Welcome, Crystal. Uh, Dove, wow, that was so eye-opening. I fully understand now how I can most help my son. I'm so very grateful to have that guidance to help my family. This is so amazing. You know, it truly is, Dove. I want to take a moment with that. You're, the soul of your son, actually, and you have been around a long time. He was very, very grateful that you're kind of going through the suffering. You both knew before coming in. This is the background message I was getting. You both knew before... Um, coming in that this was going to play out like this. He and you both knew you were going to line up under Master Shah. He and you both knew that you would receive the empowerments that could help him um, remove some of these vows. And, um, um, you know, just, it, it's not too expensive. Save up a little bit here, a little bit there. And, um, you know, receive that honor as soon as you can. <clears throat> um, it will help tremendously and in the meantime just apply the suggestions that were made uh, which is from your son's soul so he's very much in a tune and you should see some some pretty quick um, changes within a week or two not all the way but certainly take the edge off yeah okay uh, Vanessa Vanessa joined Aloha Vanessa okay Gloria thank you so much Master Paul for the flow from Master Shah Again, for all those that have just joined, ask a question for a blockage area in your life, and I will do a soul reading. And for you, Gloria, I will slow down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then it rang so true, so simple and so doable. Good and measurable. Yay! Yes. Um, I apologize for flowing so quickly. Uh, sometimes it's literally the frequency I'm in. I'm, I'm sitting in a channel of light and the information is coming through, I, I need to monitor and slow it down, so I apologize. Um, so yes, it will be recorded. Okay, so right now I don't see any questions, so I'll wait for some of those. Uh, Gloria's last comment, the guidance for me is to get away from my computer and stop typing, but I can suggest others who might be able to type for you. <laughs> okay, good. Great. My budget is, is, is not that much. I have like $10 for, for, for typing out one. Maybe, maybe I can do 12 because I'm doing it every day. And so that's, that's a lot. That's about, uh, I don't know, 70 bucks a week. But it's going to help to have the written word for all those that are sound impaired. They can't hear. Uh, it will help to, to give Google search engines food so that people can find the power of what Master Shah has to offer. Adrian, if you're still on, share with us um, your experience from the other day. <clears throat> and um, Vanessa, I'm waiting for your question. I know you had some stuff happening in your world. <clears throat> so let me kind of tune in. Uh, when I first started, I asked the Divine what would be the focus for the today. And the focus is gratitude. So I will do a flow from the Divine on the subject of gratitude. And again, you're willing to, uh, anything that you wish to share. 
or any third eye images you get while I'm doing a flow is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. How? This is the soul of Da Gan En. Greatest gratitude. It is my greatest gratitude to share with you the deeper meanings of why my attributes should be on the tip of everyone's foremost thought in every moment. Gratitude is the fuel of life. We must understand that when we enter this experience, it is the greatest of all opportunities ever to align to the soul of our Creator. We are given in each moment the opportunity to align in gratitude. Many of you today and those who listen in the future will think, but how can I be grateful for losing my house? How can I be grateful for losing the love of my life? It's easy to be grateful for those things that are obvious. It is much more painful and difficult to be grateful for these things categorized as negative. I will offer you deep insights. All life, every moment, is created by divine. There is not one single thing that happens that is not perfect and in divine alignment. How is this possible, especially when it is negative? Divine alignment means all actions are for the purpose of returning to divine. Everything that happens is serving a purpose. The key is to comprehend what that purpose is. Very often a negative thing occurs to remind us that we have misaligned ourselves and or have done something in the past, karmically speaking, that has created a karmic debt. This then creates an event or experience in our life. The advanced being sees that event or experience regardless of how it is perceived by others as an opportunity to discern where they had made wrong choices, where they had brought about the conditions that brought this to them. What are the potential positive benefits that can come from this experience? There is always opportunity to go into deep forgiveness for each unpleasant thing, such as a car accident where the neck is hurt. One should immediately be grateful that you are not paralyzed. One should immediately be grateful for the opportunity to recognize that the reason your neck was hurt could very easily be that you or an ancestor had brought great suffering to another's neck region in a previous lifetime. And when one acknowledges these so-called negative experiences with the light of the divine thinking, because all things truly are of the divine, including positive and what you label as negative, when it is seen from this holistic perspective, then you can have a far greater propensity to transform that negativity into gratitude, into something that does not hold an energy that drags you down, but rather transforms it into something that you move through with far greater rapidity. And if you truly 
ask for forgiveness for all the times you have created a similar suffering upon another, then the opportunity for that to come back again and again as a reminder no longer needs to occur. The first sentence I shared with you was that everything is part of the divine. When we separate ourselves from the divine, by making wrong choice, by moving away from love, then we acknowledge that by making right choice in gratitude, by asking for forgiveness, we are returning back to source, we are returning back to love. That is why it is all part of the same whole. I hope this explanation of the great value and gratitude in all things brings you prosperity, hope, and enlightenment. I hope and believe that it will assist you in your soul journey. I am honored to share this deeper wisdom on the nature and value of gratitude. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I hope you wrote that one down, Glory. I'd like that one. That's that's a pretty good one. Maybe I'll uh, I'll put that one on my. Okay, so only two or three times now the phone stops for a minute. I've learned to when it stops, I just stop talking. <laughs> so please share anybody if you had third eye images with that. If you had um, thoughts, feelings, emotions, anything that came up, and I'm reading now. <clears throat> Katie, thank you, Master Paul, for the beautiful flows. Per perhaps we could have a message from the islands of Hawaii. We can. I would also like to know how I can best support my soul healing business and finances at this time. Okay. So, let me check which one is more relevant. We've already done a flow for the oceans, Katie, so I'm going to do a flow just for you personally, okay? So to the soul of Katie, Katie's Heavens Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, to the soul of uh, all the different aspects of the different businesses that Katie can do and what is highest and best for her, could you please come at this time? Uh, the, be the question, how can she best support her soul healing business and finances at this time? Could you please be present to the soul of all of Katie's finances from this and all lifetimes? Could you please be present? Uh, and... <clears throat> um, any additional guidance, wisdom, insights from her soul and her heavens teams that might be most appropriate for her to hear at this time, could you please be present? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm unable to see what time it is on my phone, so let me know so I know how much time I'm working with. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. This is the soul of your soul healing business. Everything that you do for me, Katie, brings me the greatest joy. Our service is best done with Mr. Ping. You must go out with Mr. Ping and serve the animal community. Go to the dog parks. Announce your services with great joy. Choose a specific day or two and a specific hour or two. Do some homework around the busiest times. Go during those times. Gather around you a crowd. Offer a blessing. Do a soul reading and a third eye flow for all those that will not be aware of the value. And then ask for those in the uh, animals to return. There could be, for example, two dogs that don't get along that well. There could be, for example, trouble with one of the pets that come to the park and the other one has to stay at home because they don't get along well together. There's a variety of things that could come up. Use this opportunity to build that aspect of the business. Also, you and or Mr. Ping could offer a human blessing. This is, in most cases, measurable immediately. The consistency of you going to the park will build visibility, credibility, and a widespread value. Follow your guidance on the honor fee. You could become quite lucrative. 
This is our guidance for you at this time. How? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry again um, for talking so fast. Okay. Monica, I am most grateful for my big paintings going to have a home. My paintings was looking forward to service. I am most grateful and I think I felt the joy of my soul business this morning and still... Uh, and still... We are most grateful this morning. My frequency changed thanks to Master Gina. Yay, Master Gina, we love her. Who sang happy, happy, happy while we practice Immortal Tao. I am most grateful. Uh, Katie, during this beautiful flow from the Divine about gratitude, I saw big pink hearts falling from heaven to all those on the line, connecting our hearts together more in gratitude. I was shown in great disasters, gratitude can literally be life-saving for many. I saw beautiful balls of golden light going to the hearts of those who were expressing unconditional gratitude, radiating out to everyone and everything. To be in gratitude is to bless everyone and everything. Great sharing, Katie. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome, Chai. Good to see you. Katie, countless bow downs. Monica, it's 2.43. Thank you, Monica. I have about, what, 10 minutes left, Sa? <coughs> Sa, Sa, about 10 minutes left. Fourteen minutes, yay! Okay, I can go as long as I want. They'll actually let me live stream for ninety minutes, but I try to keep it about an hour. Um, wow! So thank, thank you, trying to type it out, Gloria. I hope I didn't talk too fast. Um, that's huge. I didn't expect you to type it out on the on the Facebook. I love it. That's so wonderful. Yay! <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so. Um, Chai, if you have a soul uh, question about um, something in your life you would like to receive a soul reading for, feel free to ask. Sa, do you have anything you have a question for? Maybe she's not watching me anymore. She might be doing other things on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, try to, try to um, lift this up and give you guys a view of what I'm seeing. I've got the camera tied down. How's that, huh? 360 degrees gives it a whole new meaning. I know it's a little rocking because I'm doing it on a tripod. But that's the view, that's where I'm at. So hopefully, realign this. Whoop. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see what Chai said. Uh, what is the divine plan for me at this time? Great question, Chai. Okay. Let's ask. Dear our beloved soul of Chai, Chai's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear the divine, could you please assist Chai with answering this question at this time? What is the most important thing that you would like him to know about your plan for him? Thank you. How? This is the divine for our beloved Chai. I would like you to spend more time with your family. It is important that you send the blessings that you are capable of sending through the books 
and the powers bestowed with you towards your family to clear blockages between them and each other between you and them between them and the relatives your family and their connection to Master Shah is important and as of yet they have not fully accepted you and this wisdom and teaching that is okay everyone has their own soul journey it is not so much about that it is more about the karma that they hold by doing this service asking their souls to come every day doing forgiveness practice with and for their souls asking those in the family that don't get along too well with each other including the married ones uh, uh, that marry not in the bloodline uh, ask those that you know that are there is resistance their soul to come teach them to do forgiveness practice chant divine forgiveness and da quan chu on their behalf the simple practice of doing this 10 to 15 minutes daily with the da quan chu calligraphy will serve your family immeasurably you will find there will be more desire to spend time together there will be more communication and phone calls there will be greater love and less resistance on all levels for now this is the most important thing for you to do you will discover in six to nine months why it will reveal itself quite clearly as to the value of this service I love you I honor you and I am grateful for your service this is the divine how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you divine thank you for borrowing my mouth thank you for this opportunity to do flows for all these beautiful souls I'm so grateful to be here it's so exciting it's so nice to be outside doing this by the ocean too so powerful the flows are, are feel quite a bit stronger actually and I think it's because of the mana of the earth the mana of the ocean where I'm at they feel quite a bit stronger okay if there is time left is it appropriate to ask how the soul of my future baby may feel okay why not never done that before let's find out I believe this will be the last flow I'm able to do today <clears throat> dear the soul of our beloved Monica dear Yen Wan Ye could you please open the Akashic records as appropriate Please reveal any necessary information that is most important for Monica to hear at this time regarding the soul of her new forthcoming baby. Do the soul of this one or more new forthcoming babies and the heavens teams associated with those, Monica's heavens team, the soul of any messages that wish to be shared at this time could you please be present whatever is most pertinent please borrow my mouth allow this wisdom to be shared at this time thank you thank you thank you Lula, Lula, La Li, La Li, Luli, Luli, Lula, Li, Li, Lula, Li, Li, Lula, Li, Lula, Li, Lula, La, La, Li, Li, Lu, Li, Li, Lula, Lu, Li, 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 Lu, Lula, La, La, Li, Li, Lu, La, La, Li, Lula, La li 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 la lu la li la la li 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 la la li lu li la li lu li la li la li la now I will translate your baby's soul language by the way that was completely not expected 
your baby started speaking in baby soul language, so now I have to translate it. My beloved mother, it is my greatest joy to have the opportunity to come in. My greatest hope is to serve humanity in this future time. There is great turmoil at this time and all children in the heavenly realms are being prepared to serve in ways that has never before been seen on earth. You have been prepared to carry me. You must do additional preparation. It is of the greatest importance that you avoid negativity of all kinds, all forms of news, all forms of unpleasant music, all forms of negativity, all forms of anger. You must create a golden womb of light. This is pertinent for me to maintain my purity. It is of greatest importance that you chant the highest source frequency songs and play them often. Literally create something for mothers if it has not already been created that brings sound into the womb. Carry forth this music to me as it will help me to bridge from heaven to earth and will make my transition into this density much easier. When I come in, I may have some latent, what might be viewed as abnormalities of the senses. For example, hearing or something like that might be a bit off. You need not worry. It is literally a realigning of my physical body to the higher frequencies of heaven to the density shift that will be happening on earth at that time and my alignment will be to the higher frequencies that the earth is aligning to so I will be basically unable to receive information at the frequencies that is normal on the earth plane at this time stay with me trust that all will work out and I will serve you my beloved father and our collective journey with the greatest joy this is the soul of your future child how 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 thank you thank you thank you wow I imagine I mean I my heart is touched by that that is just an extraordinary message from such an extraordinary soul to be able to offer that flow is extraordinary. I can imagine that, that that flow will be viewed by many as very weird. They might never come back to see me again. But I honestly don't care. The, the soul and the message was one of the most beautiful things I've ever have come out of my mouth. I thank Divine Down Source and I thank Master Shah for this incredible gift of being able to, to do this soul um, the soul communication it is one of the most beautiful gifts truly astounding thank you thank you thank you so I also wish to deeply apologize to all the souls in this and all lifetimes that I may have harmed by misuse or or wrong information uh, through spiritual channels if I have opened my spiritual channels in other lifetimes and in this lifetime and have offered incorrect or wrong information I deeply deeply apologize my Intent is to only offer the highest, best, and purest information. And I sincerely apologize to all those souls. I sincerely ask for your forgiveness. So thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I appreciate you all coming so much. We're at the end of our hour. <clears throat> I hope to continue to do this. This is the first within the first week. Tomorrow uh, I will do it again. My goal is to continue every day, Monday through Friday at these times, and to build a groundswell, to build a visibility, to build a, a wellspring of, of interest in soul. 
it's not always going to be soul readings. I will do healings and blessings. <clears throat> I will sometimes just chant love, peace, and harmony with all of you, especially when we get bigger crowds to serve humanity, and we'll do readings together. I will follow flow. The, the purpose is to wake up humanity, and all of you who have come here today are a big part of that. Once again, I will ask the greatest favor, which is to share this recording with all, with, with a comment, how moved you were, the value it was for you, to take the time to watch the entire video, that their heart will be moved, that they will receive great value out of it. <clears throat> you know, invite them to join each day. <clears throat> Please look around. Somewhere on this video, I am told, there should be a follow button. If not, I may have to change the stream to, um, to come through my, <clears throat> my business page, Paul Fletcher Soul Healer. If I have to change the stream, uh, maybe it will allow you to, to follow under like a business page. So please look around on your screen. If you don't see um, a follow, then unfortunately you'll have to continue to come like this and find me. Aloha, Shanice. Love you, love you. Um, so please uh, let me know if these things are there. Uh, and if you don't see the follow button, then what I'll do is I'll research out um, if I have to, to do this through my, uh, my business page. Um, so I want to thank you all so much. I'm going to finish by offering a blessing to everybody. So please sit up straight, open your heart and soul to receive this blessing. I ask all of my treasures to turn on, <clears throat> all of my transmissions to turn on. I will offer the most powerful blessing for one minute. Make a request for any one thing in your life. Bless him again. Master Shah, 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 Master Shah. Master Shah, Master Shah, Master Shah, Master Shah. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I chanted Master Shah because I would not have these abilities. The ability to offer a blessing over the phone and pain instantly goes away. You, I did not do that. I would not have that ability if it was not for one of the most advanced spiritual teachers on the planet today. Go to Master Shah's website, drsha.com. Share his wisdom, his guidance, his insights, and his blessings for humanity. It is the greatest service that we can do. I thank all of you for coming today. I thank all of you for your love, the opportunity to serve you through the soul readings. I thank you for your sharing. I hopefully will see you tomorrow, same time, 2 o'clock Hawaiian time, 5 o'clock Eastern time, uh, 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern time, 10 a.m. in Australian time. I love you, love you, love you. And until tomorrow, aloha. Bye-bye, everyone.